There is, if there is a Samaritan woman coming to throw the water in the well. Hello? And the Lord asked the Samaritan, Give me a drink. Wala kasi akong nabasang please doon. Basta nakalagay doon, Give me a drink. But the woman says, How come that you ask me, Give me a drink, That you are a Jew, And I am a Samaritan. In our custom, There's no dealing between the Jews And the Samaritan. No friend at all in Facebook. <laughs> so meaning, Sister Elsie, there is a barrier. There is a division. Hello. Because they didn't talk to each other. The Samaritan and the Jews. Hello. But when Jesus gave a statement to this woman, if thou knowest, the gift of God. Kung alam mo lang ang regalo ng Diyos. Sabi ni Cristo. Praise God. And if you know who is asking for you, Amen. give me a drink. You would ask him a water. And he will give you a living water. Hello? There is a body here. But the woman said, How come that you give me that living water? You don't have anything to use to draw it? Where did the living water came? Sabi ng babae, Ang sabi ng Panginoon, Whosoever drink this water, could thirst again. But the water that I give will never thirst again. Hallelujah! Praise God! The woman's heart arose. Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us this will and drink for his children and his cattle? Everybody say praise God! But I believe after the conversation, hallelujah, this woman, I believe, was already convinced and convicted in his heart, in her heart. Until the revelation that she don't have the real husband in life. She has only number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Until such the revelation and reveal to him that you are the Messiah. Praise God. Give me that living water that I will not thirst again. Yeah. Love your hands for the glory of the Lord. Yeah. And that's the time, church, when God revealed the secret. If you drink, church, the living water, Because of that living water, the Lord break the barrier. The Lord break the division between you and your brothers. Shall we say amen? When you receive the living water, you could able now to forgive someone. Yes. Some of you, since then the beginning, and some of you, Hindi ko talaga mapapatawag yung kasinsin ko. Hindi ko malimutan ang ginawa niya sa akin. But the time when you receive the Holy Ghost, Lord, hallelujah, I need to go home. I need to reach out my cousin and release my forgiveness because of living water. Somebody say, praise God. Noon, hindi ka pala pati noon. Pero ngayon, lahat ng mga salubong mong hinihitian mo na. Because of that living water. Why? 
better is a barrier breaker. Before you are a loner. Don't you know that woman, Samaria, he's the outcast among the outcast. Wilang kinakausap yan, maliban lang sa kanyang mga kamit. He, she is a loner woman. Hello? Yes. But when she encountered the living water, wow! He became an evangelist. Everybody say amen. Hindi na siyang nahihiya. Don't you know if you remember in John 4, 28? After all, I believe he was converted really. Praise God. The Bible said he is now willing to put it down and left his water pot, water pot along, along the ground. And went to the city. Hallelujah. Went to Central. Hallelujah. And preached about the Messiah. Everybody say amen. Yeah. You are not available to use by God if you are not willing to put it down the water pot of your life that every day that you are carrying on. This is the reason why this woman went along. Because she is willing to put it down the water pot on the top on his head. I believe this woman every day in his life he kept thirsty, right? That's why he always went to that well to draw the water. He is always a water pot on the top of his head. In Ilocos, or I've seen that woman love to carry the water pot on the top of their head, right? There is a round cloth put in there and there is a jar of water. This sin, this woman, I believe every day, Sister Elsie, na ginawa ng Diyos, araw-araw, in the middle of the day, under the sunrise, hot, and the rocky road, even from the house into Sikhar, every day carrying his own water pot just only to pitch the water. But when this woman received the living water, oh, hallelujah, he is now willing, hallelujah, to put it down, that water pot. I believe may mga water pot din sa ating buhay. Naminsan yan ang patingat sa ating mga patingin. This is the right time because God is ready to give you the living water. He will release you from the bondage of that water pot of problems. And trials and persecution in life. Hindi ko alam kung anong sitwasyon ngayon. Pero meron kang spiritual water pots. Kung wala sa ulo mo, nasa balikat mo. If that's not on your shoulder, maybe inside your heart. That you need to lift it or put it down. When the, when the woman I mean, put it down in front of Jesus Christ. The Lord release him. Hallelujah, Hello. Napakadali mga kapatid na mag-evangelist and crusaders na wala kang wala kang dala-dala mga kapatid na water pot. Hello. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. But there is a water pot of living water in exchange to your old water pot. And that is the Holy Ghost that God is going to promise into your life. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah! Come on! Give God the glory! I don't know your situation in your life today. But there is one more thing that I need to discuss it to you. The barrier of sin. That is the wrong condition in our life. Mary, in the Bible, the prostitute, 
And possibly he is Simon's daughter or a near kin of Simon. This woman are willing to wash the Lord's feet with repentant tears. Hello. And he is willing to break her treasure box of oil. And let the fragrance of her adoration fill the room where she is. But don't you know that the Lord cannot no longer stand it? He is moved by her brokenness. That even the blindness of the crowds around when there is criticism against her. Pinahiya siya, mga kapatid, na bakit niya binasag ang alabaster box? That this woman knows the value of that box. But he is willing even the valuable things in her life just only to offer to the Lord. And that is the reason, reason why the Lord moved. And the Lord says, your sin be forgiven. Ano mang sitwasyon ang buhay mo, kapatid? Maaring hindi ka drug poser. There are hidden things in your life that you did against the will of God. But God is not a respecter of person. Sino man tayo sa alapan ng Diyos? Kaya-kaya ng Diyos na patawarin ka at uhugasan ka. If you are willing to get, to get the best things in your life, in your repentance, you will receive your forgiveness. And you will be cleansed from all your filthiness in life. Because He is a barrier breaker. Everybody say praise God. Praise the last but not the least, I feel the Holy Ghost. A barrier of sickness. Sabi ng mga mga disciples, they asked the Lord saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? But the Lord said, Neither had this man seen or his parents seen, but the will of God is to reveal his power. Hallelujah, that made manifest into everyone's life. Sino ka man, kung may kasalanan ka na nakatago sa buhay mo kapatid, hallelujah, ang Diyos pa rin ay magpapakita ng Himala. Kung merong totoong pagsisisi sa buhay ng tao, ikinagalam ng Diyos, mga kapatid, ano bang klase ng pagsisisi na tao sa kanyang puso? Just to reveal the power of God and to manifest into your life. Shall we say praise God? Praise God. In this afternoon church, the Lord is willing to break any barriers in our life. And God is going to help you to come out inside your box. Are you there? Yes. Your box is the cause why you are not become faithful to the Lord. Hello? Your box is the cause while you are not give the best worship for God. Hello? Because inside that box of situation, you don't have a space enough. Your place is just only limited to worship God because you are squeezed by your situation. But there is a breaker barrier. No other than the Lord Jesus Christ. He is able to bring you out inside of that box. Hallelujah. And He will give you the freedom to worship the Lord. He will give you the freedom, hallelujah, to come to the Lord, hallelujah, with a 
out every string attached and revive 